Hello and welcome back to Raising the Robins of Football Major 2019 with Cole Shorten Athletic in the Van Roma National. And today is Season 5, Episode 4. So, we're coming up to about halfway through the se season now. Uh, I say that, not really, because we're only in November, the end of November. So, getting there, but not really. Um, last time out, we had all the shot. And I also just got to say, my voice is, I'm still on the verge of losing it. A uh, bit of a cough, a bit of a sore throat, a bit of a cold. So, if I do cough, splutter, things like that, I do apologise in advance. Um, today I've skipped through right to the end of November and we've, I've skipped the FA Cup as well. Um, I just thought I had a few more games than what I was originally planning. Uh, reasons will become clear in a, a video I'm planning to release in a, maybe a week or two, a couple of weeks or so. Um, but a few things have changed and it's going to be changing sort of on the channel as well. But I'm just trying to get through this maybe series, this season in particular, uh, a little bit uh, as quick as possible and, you know, with um, be able to play and record at work. This is the best opportunity for me to get plow really plow through so i have been doing that and that's why we've gone a little bit further and the next episode i will probably be called straight on the back of this and it'll probably be the next game which will be the first game in december and then tomorrow i can just plow through the games and get to january pretty easily i hope that's the plan anyway but all become clear in due course uh so this as you can see the league table we are seventh 20 games played so yeah just shy of halfway through the season 35 points we're closing in on that safety which we're play obviously originally playing for uh, what we about, about 20 points clear or so, which is pretty good and not not 100 you know secure and safe yet. But we're we're doing we're doing okay. Um, but as it stands, we're actually in with a bit of a playoff playoff shot as you can see. So yeah, we are seventh. We're three points clear of eighth, and we're two points below sort of the team. Two three points below above the teams above. A good way back off Tradmere, who are sort of starting to fly away a bit a little bit now. But let's cut to the schedule now. We'll see exactly how we've got on since that last game, which was, we said was all a shot. You can tell I'm ill. I'm just muttering and spluttering and not getting my words out and stuff. I can just feel that every word is just like a dagger in my throat. <laughs> um, but we started off after that with a good 4-0 win against Barrow. Uh, Barrow, who were 18, so yeah, down in the uh, relegation places. We took the lead through us out on 28 minutes just for the half-hour mark. Ossiu had another one just after half-time including on 70 minutes and then Freitas Gouveia off the bench on 88 minutes just to resound it off and round it off forever and make it a very good 4-0 win. They only had one shot on target, 11 shots, so yeah, real good domination. 4-0, probably a little bit uh, generous, but we played well enough to deserve it, I think, and uh, from what I recall. And yeah, good, good performance there. We then had uh, Maidstone to round out October. Um, which was a good 1-0 win away from home. They were 17th, so similar position. Nathan Clark just before half-time. We were very fortunate to, to get a win here. <laughs> Not vintage from us by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, but, you know, the team in our position compared to the team in their position, we, we saw it last year. We were the, we were the team in Maidstone's position. We, we were getting done by these sort of games every now and then. So it's nice for it to happen our way for once. But yeah, good three points on the board and a another nail in a team below us you know to keep us a little bit safer uh, we then had watch down the FA Cup uh, a thousand supporters only for the ground for this one so not quite the money we would have hoped but um, we went full strength as much as we could in this game uh, we because we had a good bit of rest either side of the, this game so we had a week either side to rest everyone but we did have a few players cup tied uh, we had the goalkeeper um, Mitchell was it I think we had um, centre midfielder uh, Diaz I think it was uh, Twinnell was it Twinnell the Twinnell the striker I think and that one or two well I think maybe one or two others as well so but we went one down through a free kick on five minutes it says five minutes it was actually four minutes um, so yeah not great but we did get a goal rightly disallowed straight away after I can't remember who it was now um, I think it was I think it was O'Rourke but it was definitely offside. Uh, in fact, no, it was Clark. It was Clark. I walked played in Clark. Clark just had to time his run a little bit better and he'd been onside. But he just stayed in the offside position and, yeah, unfortunately it was disallowed. 2-0 uh, late on. Uh, McKendy on 78 minutes. We did, though, pull one back uh, even later on. 84 minutes. It was an own goal. Um, it was a shot kind of ricocheted off his ankle and flew in the top corner. Um, so to give it an own goal was a little bit harsh, but... I'm not sure whether the original shot was going in, which probably would have deemed that. Uh, we couldn't snatch the equaliser, unfortunately, and the fairy tale of the FA Cup is over for another year. But we've got to the first round, we've got to the real FA Cup for real. 
Uh, what's that, twice now in our four years, five five seasons? So that's not too bad to do. We were very, very low league for a couple of those. Uh, the main downer of this is poor Siu, who got injured in the game just around half time, and he's out for five weeks. I think he might just be coming back about now, um, or around now. It was three to five weeks. I think he's back in training now, maybe not quite ready to play. But in the coming weeks, he'll be worked his way back in. And to be honest, I think we've missed him. Uh, so, the, yeah, the next game was uh, Ebb's Fleet. So we had a loss, first loss in the league for a little while. Um, they were, what were they, fourth at the time. So we were one down right after half time. It was a counter. They, they counter attacked us very, very nicely, very well. But it was a shot off the post, rebounded straight into his possession and 1-0. Uh, um, we did get... Uh, an equaliser though, it was Twine off the bench. Uh, we counted their free kick, so a game of counter attacks. Um, got, our, got our goal. Pretty well deserved at the time. Although, if you look at the stats overall, I mean, we had the possession, but they had a lot of shots. Um, we couldn't keep them quiet for too long. And unfortunately, 94th minute, it was another rebound goal. A uh, corner, ricocheted again, I think twice. And then, yeah, into the path of Chris Long, who tucked it away. Probably deserved a deserved win for them on the night. But I was, I was hoping that you know, in 90 minutes we'd be able to hold on for a draw. But unfortunately we didn't. Uh, at this stage as well I applied for another senior affiliate. Which I got approval for. But I am just waiting for that to come through. So I don't know who we're going to get. If it's going to actually work. Or we're going to get anyone. I don't really know. Uh, we then played Barnet who were ninth, A lone goal by O'Rourke on 11 minutes. And he's our top scorer this season. Free transfer. Great signing. Formula Liverpool player of course. This Colthurst. Is he the guy I tried to sign a couple of years ago. Is it because I went to Oldham? No, it's not. I just recognise the name for some reason. He's been quite prolific. Striker centre. He might be someone to take a little bit of credit. He's a bit older now, though. He's a bit, yeah. He, he's decent at this level, but I think we've got decent players in that position. We don't really need that there just yet. But yeah, a very well deserved win in this game. Possibly could have been, well, but on the highlights and whatnot, the, the run of the game, we had 64% possession. It, it should have been more. But again, we take, we take a win and we take a clean sheet and we move on absolutely fantastic against a team that was you know, very much around us in the, in the division. So great result. Uh, and then a couple of days later, which is the game before now, we had Dagenham and Redbridge. It was three days later, we took an early lead through Ganley on a corner. They pretty much went, it felt like straight away, it wasn't, it was about eight minutes later. But the next highlight, essentially, they got a corner and did the same thing to us. Um, and... To be fair, it was a decent draw away from home with the little rest we had in between games. We tried to rest as many people as we could. You can see it's, the fatigue started to take its effect. Uh, did for them a little bit as well. I don't know if they had the three days or if they got an extra day. I'm not too sure. But, you know, is that Lewis Baker who plays for Chelsea? I can't imagine it is. No, Liam Baker. I don't know who he is. Um, yeah. And then straight after this game, we got another one-year extension on our contract. I did think it was two for a moment, but it's just because it was a little bit earlier than usual. It's in the November, so it's sort of, rather than being second half of the season, it was now. So we're on for another year at least. Um, and today we do play Fylde, who, if we look at the league table, are, where are they, 20th. So it should be a winnable game. Um, so what we'll do, we'll cut to the lineups right now. So this is the lineups for today. We've got O'Rourke leading the line with Nathan Clark just behind. Freitas Gouveia on the left, covering for the injured Ossiu, who is back in full training, has passed fitness test, limit to 45 minutes but we're not risking him at all. Uh, we've got Diaz in the middle, Clune in the middle, uh, who's one yellow card away from a suspension in actual fact, a Sal on the right who's been a phenomenon this year as well. Uh, we've got Boyes, Ganley, Matthews and Felix across the defence and Allen in goal. They've gone with a 4-1-2-2-1 or 4-3-3, three, three, however you want to look at it. Uh, is that the guy who played for Southampton? No, it's Otis Carl, I don't know who he is. If it, if it was Southampton then it would have been a very Fluky stroke up because it's got the bars kicking off. They've got a couple of real players as well, so that's interesting to see. Um, and I can feel my throat getting worse and worse and worse. So hopefully, enough, I apologise in advance again if anything, if anything happens or any noises come for me that is unexpected. So we shoot from left to right in the red kit. They're in their white kit, shooting right to left, of course. And we're going to switch to formations to keep an eye on any changes. But yeah, no highlights for the first five minutes. So the first highlight is here, Diaz has dropped a little bit short to get the ball here, Guvea picks it up, he's dropped inside, Diaz, very good pass to the ball, very technical player, Clunan, back to Diaz, they're just playing that amongst themselves at the moment, but everything's, everything's going through Diaz, 
back to Cluden, back to Diaz, using him to try and unlock the defence here with the, the good ball. O'Rourke is going to have a shot just over. And Nathan Clark is playing today. He did miss a few games. He was jaded in need of a rest, so we gave him about a week and a half off. Plus also, Catamol was apparently promised first team football, so we had to give him a few games. And we probably still do, but at the moment he's out of the team. As we have a corner here, we play it short. Gouveia, out to Diaz, probably won't shoot. Jocks to Asal, Matthews, to Diaz, who looked left. Yeah, he does, finds Clunan. He can knock a good ball in to Clark. And O'Rourke at the back post gets the flick on. Good combination by the two strikers, and that gives us a 1-0 lead against 20th placed Fylde, who will probably drop down a little bit now. They've lost that point that they technically had in the live league table. And yeah, great ball out to Cluden. Like I said, he always picks out a good ball, finds Clark, who just fixes the back post, and then walks there, ready to pounce. What he does best, another great goal from him. And I think he's in the top scoring charts now, in actual fact. As we come with a straight highlight for their kickoff. Um, it says we moved up to 6th, I don't know if that just hasn't updated yet or whether something else has happened in another game that's pushed us back down to 7th. But we are in that final playoff place still, nothing's changed. Uh, O'Rourke loses out there to Kempson, they play it back to the goalkeeper, unfortunately can't pounce and it's over the head of a sow. And they have a chance to run at us here. Can someone close them down, that'd be amazing. No, not quite, oh it's a terrible header. I've seen a few of those recently and in my Arsenal save as well, it just seems that our players just lack the composure to clear those out properly or take the time to take the ball down it seems to be they try and just do these weak weak ass headers out which the opposition don't seem to do they seem to use the composure and bring it down and play it out or boot it into the stands but not complain too much because we are one nil up boys with a long throw into Diaz drops it back down to Clark who's going to charge the defence have a pop fires over unfortunately and that's going to be probably it as we go into half time so we're going to half time we'll get the team talk uh, yeah, and the assistant manager says it already, we've been excellent. We probably deserve maybe another goal uh, for the way we played it and we've had 66% possession, but a lot more shots, we've restricted them to very little. But at the end of the day, we're, we're proving to be a bit like the Arsenal under George Graham. 1-0 here and there and get a goal and try and keep it tight at the back. And so far, it seems to work. We've had a, few, a lot more clean sheets this season. Nicked a, few, a lot more wins, turned a lot of wins in, uh, draws into wins and a lot of losses into draws, that sort of thing. So it's a very positive season. Drops it to Diaz here, boys. Finds Clark. Can he whip one in? Oh, he does. Onto the post, onto the keeper, but it's saved. Again, that's something that doesn't happen very often. I see it in our goal very often. Hit our goalkeeper and go in. But it doesn't seem to happen to the AI team very often, unfortunately. But we are hammering away here with shots. And we perhaps just need another goal to make it secure um, as we've got a few players starting to look a bit tired out there uh, we are going to bring Diaz off for McNally um, I don't trust McNally in the defensive role as much so I don't want to bring Clunan off he would be my natural choice because Diaz can unlock something in fact maybe I do maybe I change that no I'm going to stick Twine's going to come off for Clark on for Clark Twine for Clark rather um, some, somewhere in that little garbled bit of message I've got something correct I'm sure and Bingham's going to come on the right for, uh, who do we say, Asal. 20 minutes to go, hopefully those guys can A, keep us in the game, and maybe B, extend the lead. They haven't had a shot on target yet, so if we don't get a win here, I'd be very, very disappointed. Oh, great header there, O'Rourke. Finds Bingham, can he run at the defence? He's not at the moment, we're trying to train him to do that, he doesn't seem to like doing it, he seems to not complete it whenever we do it. Clunan, oh, it's a bad touch, and that could be the tiredness that's having an effect. But we can only play so many subs, so we can't play them midfield on the bench. We, you know, we quite often have to change the two centre mids. But you can't play two subs, and I, you know, I need the other positions on the bench as well. So it's a tough one. But we're ten minutes to go now, and we're looking. We, they still not had a shot on target. It's going to take something drastic, which, let's be honest, will probably be an outside the box shot uh, or a set piece or a very bad defensive mistake from us to, to get back in this game. But that looks like it's going to be the, the game. Three minutes added on time. We're into the last seconds of that now. Felix with the throw in. And yeah, that's the end of the game. Great result. Felix with the man in the match by the looks of it. O'Rourke with the goal on the half hour mark pretty much. Yeah, it's just a shame we couldn't add the second goal. But like I say, we've got a goalkeeper now who we trust to keep a clean sheet. And he's done that for us again. Great, great win. And it's again a team that are 
languishing around those just above those relegation places so it's three points further away from them so it's all progress so where does that leave us in the league we are up into sixth although boston do have a game in hand so they could leapfrog us again uh, chester can get pretty close if they win their game in hand as well i didn't realize they had a game in hand down there and catch up uh, yeah, and we are yeah, edging away. Is that zero points from Macclesfield? Six points. That's no six points. Six draws they've had this season. I bet one of them was us, wasn't it? It wasn't, fortunately. Were we one of the losses? We were. Right at the start of the season, I think, or early on, anyway. Uh, so yeah, where does that leave us coming back? So yeah, like I said, I'm going to try and maybe if the next game is in December, which I, it's not. The next game is in November. So probably won't have time it's a bit late now I won't have time to play that and get to Chester game so I'll play through tomorrow and I'll probably try and get to I don't know maybe the end of the month and then try and do that next episode I'll try and do the two on the bounce maybe and do the New Year's Eve oh yeah they're very close games and I think they're both down the bottom you know, Dover are doing quite well Cheltenham are down the bottom so that could be a good sort of mix and match so that might be something I'll try and aim to do and try and play plow through tomorrow uh, yeah if you enjoyed today's episode please do drop a like down below if you're new around here please drop a sub to the channel as well and if you've got any comments to make anything about the save anything at all anything about the channel anything you want to see all that good stuff drop it in the comments below and i, I respond to every comment um yeah so until next time right, for that oh i don't know we're coming back do we <laughs> as usual uh, whatever it is i'll see you later take care